in London and there was a My Super Sweet 16 marathon on. And I was like, that was my exposure to it. And I was like, holy fuck, these people think we're all like this. I have to write a screenplay. And then, um, and then the other thing was, is I, this, is a, uh, this was a few years back when I wrote this movie, so it was, it was that, that weird time where everybody was interrupting town hall meetings and, and, the, and the president got shout, shot down, and, uh, shouted down, and the, that's how the young people say it, right? Yeah. Shouted. Uh, you know, on the floor, and I was like, well, you know, where are we going? And then I think the other one was that all the stuff at the beginning isn't, um, it's not really parody or satire. I just really just filmed, reshot things, you know? So uh, there is a commercial with an elephant an animated elephant came out and it danced around and it stuck its ass at the camera and then farted and it goes, it's the funniest ringtone ever. And uh, I really, it hurt my feelings. Like I was like, I said to my wife, I go, okay, let's get some guns. You know, it's, it's go time. Um, <laughs> but instead I made a movie. <laughs> I mean, I, I treat these movies as fables. I don't, this is not a, any, real world. I don't really think it's an accurate portrayal. And, um, but um, they're, they're, they're supposed to be kind of humans. That's what they are. So they're, they're flawed people that do bad things. And I'm not asking for sympathy I, I actually, for these characters. I just hope you empathize with them. You know? you know, hopefully if the movie works for you, what I'm trying to attack is our appetite for this crap our appetite for this constant destruction and, and, and um, not destruction, I meant to say distraction. Freudian slip. But, um, and I don't, I'm not that cynical. I don't, I don't think America's horrible. What I, what I, and, and a lot of, you know, some of the crazier right wing websites have accused me of being un American. And I'm, because if you criticize a country, they go, why don't you go to Syria? What do you think of that? It's like, yeah, man, there's a lot of horrible nations where they do horrible things to their people. Let's not be them. You know, let's try to aspire what America can be and should be instead of just continually bashing the other guy. My favorite scene, uh, uh, he's asking uh, uh, oh, to come together and that, see it come together. Yeah, like when you, like, I, I'm not being sarcastic, like in the editing room, you mean, or you mean while we're sh on the day shooting it? I think like seeing it cut together was the baby getting shot because <laughs> Because when we shot, when we filmed the baby getting shot, I had filmed it a million different ways where I had like a, I had like a doll getting hit and all this stuff. But when we just looked at it in two cuts, you know, point the gun, babe starts to throw the baby, baby goes up, blam, you know. And um, I'll tell a couple of babies uh, getting hit stories. Well, so first, well, the baby shows up and the and the. And the, the parents go, so what are we shooting today? And, uh, <laughs> and the second AD goes, your baby. And, uh, and that was the moment we realized nobody told them that we were going to shoot their baby. And um, so we had to take a break and explain them what the scene was about. And then the baby wouldn't cry. And it just sat there. Like I, I actually think that baby's too cute. Because I said, give me a baby that looks like somebody shaved a pug. You know what I mean? Like a really... <laughs> Really an ugly baby, you know? And that baby would just sit there like, you know, and it and, and wouldn't cry. And so we would like uh, do stuff like give it a toy and then yank it away and, just, you know, and give it food and take that out of its mouth and so the parents, goodbye, goodbye, baby, your parents are leaving. Didn't give a shit, baby. Like, like it looked like Hitchcock, right? So. I would love to tell you I'm a better man than this, but I got, I crawled up on the baby on, on all fours, and then I'd get right in its face and go, <laughs> and the baby go, I go, roll the camera, and then as soon as I left, I go, <laughs> it was like Michigan J. Frog, hello, my baby, hello, my, and, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> So I like that like about nine or 10 years from now, that kid's gonna be watching a police academy and go, ah! That's a bad man! Uh, so when we earned the editing bay and we just put that scene together and it just was like, both the editor and I went, holy fuck, like it was really cracked us up because 
<laughs> uh, uh, though, <laughs> there's just this big uh, can in it that we filled with blood and cauliflower. Oh, and there's an explode. We exploded diapers and onesies. That's what that snow looks like when you. Some people think we shot. It looks like it's supposed to be the ceiling, but, but so the cannon goes off on Joel's side of it, right? And, <laughs> and there was and that little tear back and formed. I was like, wow, you know, it, it reminded me of in cold blood or something, you know. And then um, we flipped the cannon around, and I said to the guy, I "Go, if you could just give me just like a little more blood, you know, this is for the mother's side of things." And he just goes, Bleh! and she's got blood in her eye and her teeth. And I go. Yo, what's up? Because like, we can only, you know, Bob Wood Productions, we only do one take on shit like that. And he goes, hey, man, it's not an exact science. Buckhead <laughs> Goldthwait, Tony V, thanks so much.